George planned to obtain a doctorate at Iowa State, and the school wanted very much to keep him on its faculty in what could have been a contented life of academic distinction. Then, in 1896, a letter arrived that would change everything. I cannot offer you money, position, or fame, it said. The first two you have. The last, from the place you now occupy, you will no doubt achieve. These things I now ask you to give up. I offer you in their place work, hard, hard work, the task of bringing a people from degradation, poverty, and waste to full manhood. It was signed by Booker T. Washington, the principal of an industrial and teacher training institute for black students in Tuskegee, Alabama. We talk about the Tuskegee experience around here, and everyone, everyone talks about it, but no one can just come out and explain exactly what it is. We all know that there is something about that Tuskegee experience that keeps you here and keeps you uh, with a desire to want to do more. It may be the grounds of Booker T. Washington. It may be George Washington Carver because those were two great men who walked the grounds of Tuskegee. And so it's, it's an honor and a privilege actually to come behind them and do something substantial for the university. Booker T. Washington was determined to make Tuskegee a leading educational institution in the South, and his most pressing need was to establish an agriculture department. But to establish such a department, Washington recognized that he needed a black man with an advanced degree in agriculture. And in all the country, there was only one such man, George Washington Carver. To lure Carver to Tuskegee, Washington offered him an annual salary of $1,000 plus living quarters. Despite Washington's warning of hard, hard work, Carver replied to him, it has always been one ideal of my life to be the greatest good to the greatest number of my people possible. And to this end, I have been preparing myself for these many years, feeling as I do that this line of education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom to our people. He would remain there until his death 47 years later. Booker T. and Carver believed that people needed to be taught not only how to live, but to live beautifully, you know, and live well, and to make uh, beautiful things out of everything that was functional. So I think that that's important, the, the con that kind of contribution to, to learning that they, that they, that they gave. And, that legacy is what made a whole two or three generations back feel that they could, could do anything. We had these brilliant doctors, brilliant uh, scholars up on campus, uh, because they were, had a place to be geniuses, to show their genius in this little cocoon, some like little protective sphere. And it started with Booker T in his school, you know, he, he made, up, made a place, a space for people to excel. Carver was part of that 